it's such a good sleep, you know, when you do not necessarily a hard workout, but you just push yourself a little bit more than normal. You sleep so good. But I'm sorry I look like this. I'm sorry we look like this. But I thought it was hilarious because we just don't want to get up yet. But we will, because we have a white party with Latinas in motion, where we all dress in white. And what else we got? Oh, we got a, hopefully, sunset cruise. We got a sunset cruise to go on today. So it should be a fun day. That we haven't booked yet. That we haven't booked yet. We're going to book it right now. Supposed to book it last night. Yeah, we just, it was funny, because last night we were just watching, we were just watching our uh, videos that we took we were just cranking up cranking up at the fact that my sister had chocolate on her nose at oh. one point <laughs> and we told her ass like three times we're like no you have chocolate no <laughs> I more. was like you have chocolate on your nose she goes you have chocolate on your nose this oh. girl ain't listening to us and then finally we like she realized she had chocolate on her nose I was like I thought you just didn't care at this point and she's like, no, I thought you were talking to each other. <laughs> what else happened? What else happened that we were cracking up about? We were cracking up. We were cracking up because um, also mm -hmm. she was taking a video of me. And um, and um, I was walking and my skirt was all like shiny. It was raining too. And then they, oh, they were the young. London look. Get the London look. <laughs> No, <laughs> she wanted the wet look. Just because I did like sleek wet hair. So it like was well, hella convenient to have rain because I almost styled my hair. I almost did it. And I'm glad I did it. Cause it was raining like so weird. It rained for a block and then it didn't rain. And then there was like something one other thing we were laughing at, right? What was it? It was a pretty look though. It looked nice. The skirt. Yeah, it was just like the black. I wanted to wear black so bad. Because I normally don't really go for black, but I'm trying. Like, I don't know, I like it. Especially like with a sparkle, or especially like where you add the makeup. The cop last night was telling her, we thought he was kicking us out of um, uh, the I Heart Aruba. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know if you <laughs> wanted to talk about it. We were like, uh, I think we gotta go. And he was like, no, more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he said sexy. He's um. I think he said, he said sex first, and then he said sexy after. But he did oh. say sexy the second. It was time. so weird. So we went to go take a picture. We were like stopping at the different spots to take a picture. We were almost back, and there was one like I Heart Aruba, and we had always said when we passed it during the day that we would take pictures at night. And then I was like, you know, I really don't know what how to pose, but um. Because I had the slit and then I had that accessory, I was like, oh, like, what if I put my, like, leg up and I, like, kind of lean on the thing? Like, it just came to me in the moment. So I'm doing that. They're taking the pictures. And the cop is just there. And I keep hearing his, like, bleep, beep, bleep. Like, it's weird. Like, <laughs> he had, like, a weird siren horn thing. And so at first, I, like, when I finally paid attention, I thought he was saying, like, you guys have to go it's late or something along those lines he literally was holding up traffic but i wasn't sure why he was there i was like maybe he's just trying to be like police presence because it's late no and then he just goes more sex i thought he said sex so i got mad but if he says sexy that like maybe you know it's not that bad but he was, i thought he was like more sex and i just wanted to be like he did say that at first, but Rude. we couldn't understand him because they speak another language. <clears throat> I think the people around here, for the most part, speak a lot of languages and they speak them all well. Remember, and holding up this phone is dangerous because one time I fell on my face and it's very heavy. <laughs> it really is very <laughs> heavy. My face. Okay, so I gotta go. My arm is tired. Bye. Hey guys, so um, we, me and Johnny, like not that we stayed in bed super duper long, but we couldn't find the one cruise that we wanted to go on and like we found it, but there was like only one ticket left. 
and so we're gonna have to probably do that another day we're still trying to debate on what we're gonna do for the end but then we had to rush and get ready um for the white party which the thing is originally when we heard about the white party before we came we thought it was going to be a night event so we came with like dresses some people did come with like dresses but other people had like white bathing suits and stuff hopefully i'll be able to post those pictures when they share it i'm very excited like i love group photos it's just like part of being like being a part of a community is so special so this has become like such a cool thing for me at least so right now my sister she actually you can hear them in the back they're cheering we're over here because we didn't put like spf on and this dress i don't want to get tan lines in this dress we are here at the beach at noon so i could literally ha have my skin looking like this and so that's why i came to sit down over here for a little bit johnny just ordered some food because she was having some like sunset sensitivity so as soon as we're done with that, we'll probably go take a picture real fast and then, you know, just be in our bathing suits here at the at the beach for a bit and really set up for the day. But yeah, my sister's over there like with the group. Um, she's more acquainted with everyone that's part of Latinas in Motion. Um, she was the one that like introduced me to everything, but I'm still very new to the group and the community and like the backstories of everyone. Like she's given us a little bit of where these women are located because they're located all over and um, it's just a community of women supporting one another to be active and to push each other in that realm which is so fantastic but yeah they're all over there at noon in the sun in white reflecting up and they like trust me a lot of them have been here longer than us so they are 10 a.m but it was funny because actually we had this um taxi taxi driver from the airport he was well like he was a fit guy so of course that's his passion and he's talking about it and he gave some great advice about the sun here in Aruba he said um, you know you guys are closer to the equator you are closer to the sun therefore like you know try not to be out there from 11 to 4 um, because you could get even sun poisoning within 20 minutes Yeah, everyone looks so fantastic in their dresses and in their outfit choices. Um, this outfit was also um, very randomly chosen for me last minute at Fashion Nova. So the reason why I bought from Fashion Nova last minute was because I had a Shein haul that went bad with my bathing suit. I ordered a whole bunch of bathing suits and I was just not, they weren't like laying the way I wanted them to. So I had to last minute, I know Fashion uh, Nova delivers fast. I've had good experience in that sense. So I saw this and I was like, it's so out of my comfort zone. Like I never wore anything like high neck with all these holes. Um, it's so like fashion forward that again, I'm just continuing to push my boundaries in that way. And I am around like Danny and my sister that were like so supportive. They saw me pull it out. They're like, yeah, you're wearing that. Even though I had two other backups. So I'm really happy I wore it and um, hopefully I get a good picture in it but yeah this is day three so far and it feels like we've done so much but it's amazing here like uh, we might give up our lives and just stay <laughs> like this to support us and then we will make more videos from Aruba <laughs> As promised, we are tired AF because yesterday was race. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to get out of bed today. It like took us forever to like book these plans. We booked them like an hour and a half ago. Johnny's nervous about parasailing, mostly because we're unsure if like we're gonna be landing in the water. 
last time I did it in Lake George, we did not land in the water. So hopefully they just reel us back into the boat. Easy peasy, floaty floaty. I don't know, floaty in the sky. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a really beautiful view. It's gonna be very surreal. We never experienced like such a sisterhood moment. So I'm sure I'll let you know how great it's gonna be. Um, we're about to go down this area. I think this is where we're gonna catch it. Oh wait, actually it's this spot. <laughs> so talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.